It's a story that wouldn't seem out of place in a sci-fi movie. A sleepy British village suddenly awoken by an earthquake. Strange fires flare on the horizon that can be seen from space. Science fiction or science fact? The people living here in Balcombe in West Sussex believe it might happen. Some local residents are worried that a mining company called Quadrilla is going to use hydraulic fracturing or fracking to extract oil from deep below the village. I've come here today as an impartial observer to give the protesters an opportunity to question Joseph Dutton from University of Leicester, who's been researching the industry of fracking for many years. Well, here we are at the Balkan protest site. Essentially, we've got the world's narrowest campsite. People are pitching their tents on a very narrow grass verge, getting their sleep where they can. About 800 protesters have set up camp here and were joined by fashion icon Vivian Westwood. I'm here because I'm anti-fracking, that's the first reason I'm here. Fracking is the fracturing of shale rock with liquid in order to release gas or oil. Often water is used, mixed with sand and a number of chemicals. The water is injected into the shale at high pressure via a borehole. I'm trying to follow this and I don't know about it. I'm just wondering <laughs> if a lot of people looking at this are taking <laughs> anecdotal evidence for scientific evidence. <laughs> There is no scientific evidence. They're going ahead without scientific evidence, except for, you might call it anecdotal, yes, fire when you, when you light the, the tap water. You know, this is anecdotal, it's actually evidence. What Vivian is referring to is this internet documentary called Gaslands, which claimed to highlight major problems with fracking in the US. The one as you mentioned in Gaslands with the guy lighting the tap, um, independent tests were done on that water and the gas within it was biogenic methane from coal sitting underneath the town. Nothing to do with fracking and shale. Quadrillas say they haven't started fracking in Balkan and yet people are claiming that tremors are being felt. The guy just up the road here who actually, his house was shaking and it did affect his house. Fracking can cause seismic tremors. In 2011, Blackpool was hit by a minor earthquake during fracking. The earthquakes in Blackpool were caused by the, the fracking. The, the quadrilla have admitted um, the independent test by universities and the government has said that the fracking did lead to these seismic events. And we're talking about seismic event of 1.5 happening at a depth of 3,000 feet. That's not going to destroy any buildings. There's no regulation whatsoever for onshore gas flaring. It would be regulated. You have to apply for a licence from DEC and the Environment Agency to do it. This is monitored independently by the government and it's a very short period of time. The flaring or venting is only during the exploration stage. This is a really extreme method of getting oil and gas out of the ground and it's brute force you're using with shale gas. Well, Joseph, is this, is this, is this any, any more dangerous than conventional mining, coal mining, for example? Um, coal mining has more seismic events. It leads to more releases of radioactive material from the ground um, and like, leaves the largest um, damage to the surface of the earth. This lady said there is scientific evidence that water tables have been breached. Yeah. Now, from everything I've read, from everything I've read, it says there's a possibility they could be breached. Are, are you saying, though, they have been breached? Yes. There are studies in certain parts of the United States that indicate, with the evidence base, that there have been breaches. Right, so that's a legitimate... I'm sorry, it is, it is. I'm sorry. Yeah. this is an unregulatable industry. You cannot regulate it safely. As we attempt to separate fact from fiction, things get a little heated. I was asking for what evidence the lady had. I'm asking you, what is your training and expertise in this area? My do you training have and expertise is to be on television and ask questions. Yeah. Do so you have any training and expertise in this no. area? No. Okay, What's yours? You. You're just using right-wing fascist uh, talking points with gas and oil in No, no I'm asking that lady That's a question. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. I'm asking that lady. You know you've got to look how that's, that's going to... How, how's that going to play? How's that going to play to the nation? We're not... 